Now let's learn how to make a put request in the Next.js app. So it will be just like the delete request that we had previously like this, but with a few changes. So the first change we have to do is this. Let me add my name called Nishant and the age 26 post user. So we have this uh, record here. So when we post for a user, we should clear the name and age from this input boxes, which should be done here. So we can say set name to empty string and set age to let me see the yes, it's zero or let's say null. Yes. Now if you add one more user called Uday and age let's say 38 post user. Okay, this thing it's not getting cleared. Okay. One more thing we have to do is add the values in the input fields. So for the name input, we will have the value of name. So just put the state here and for the age, the value will be of age. Simple. Now the thing is we have to do it again, I guess. So let me add the name called Nishant 26 post it. It's here, but the age is not getting cleared because it's a number. So let's make it as a string. Remove number property from here. And this should work fine. So age should be also an a string, not a number. Now save this and it will work fine again. Yes. So let me add a name called Nishant and age 26. Post user. So, okay, the name age is not getting cleared. This should be empty string, not null. Now, let me add Uday. Age 27, let's see. Any random age. Now, it's getting cleared. Let me add another called Nishant. Age 26, post it. And it's here, okay. So, second thing we need to do is one add one uh, button here called update this user. Or maybe we should do populate this user. So in this case, what will happen is when we click the button that's here, we should add this data like name and age to the input fields. For that, let me create a function say populate fields. Simple as that. Now let me copy the function name populate fields and simply run the function and pass the data when we click the button. So data means the ID, the name and the age that will come up here in this function. Let's say data and we can simply set it here. So set name, which will be data dot name set age data dot age so we need one more state file i mean for now because let me do this click populate the field the name and age is here in the input fields now click nishant i mean populate this user the name and age of nishant is here so it works like this when we click any one field or when we click any field its credentials or name and age will be here in the input fields now we need another button to run the operation to update just like we have here because update is a little bit different. So say update user. So save this and we have button here and when we click the button, the data here will be updated when we update the data here. So let me create a function here, which will be known as const update field or update user fine now we will just use the same logic for delete so we will have an id that we need to get from state so create a state called uh, id and set id equals to use state so it will be a string as well. Now 
in the populate function we are populating name image we also need to populate the id so say data dot id simple now we have to use this id here so let me mark id as id it will work or maybe simple id will work like this as well fine so we have this function now let me change a few things here first we need to make the method as put because that's what we have for update function or update operation now we just need to send not just the id but the name manage as well so just like we have here just copy the fields and paste it here so we will have the id the unique id for each user the name and the age now save the function i mean save the file and hook the function to this button uh, update user so when we click this all these things will run and this will update our user okay these things not that simple now let me do the logic for backend i mean what we'll have here is we will have the method as put we have the body as id i mean we have the id from request dot body dot id we also need name and age so let me just copy these things and name and age is here okay we need to create a object from them which will contain id name and age but i don't think we need id so let's remove it id will be unique and it should not be updated fine so this will contain our new name and age that we will use to that will be used to update yes now in the index to delete we will have index to update so basically we will find the index that we will have to update which will be based on the id which is user dot id equals to id now this should be i mean then we will splice the index to update and we will pass the data which is user like this the splice method takes three things for this case the index to update the number of values to update and the payload i mean which function or which uh, record it will update fine now let me okay fine i had a sneeze coming but it's gone now so data was splice yes so now what we have to do is uh, what can we do yes so let's change the things here as well so data or user to update update so data dot find this will find the user which field or which user has been updated and then it will show it in the network tab the request payload or something now we can try this let me give it a hard refresh okay how do we do hard refresh i don't know fine let me open the network tab let me add the name called nishant and the age this post it let me add uday uday u d a y and the age let's say 36 post it let me add one more called raju and age 46 too old fine so we have all the users here we can delete them or we can populate them so first let me populate nishant so its user name i mean the name and the age is here we can change the age so so let me change the age to 27 now click update user and if you see here the record is saying that nishan is 27 years old if you check the payload here i mean the network request the age is this id is this and name is nishan now let me populate raju okay sorry i deleted it accidentally let me populate uday and change his age to let's say uh, 46 now click update user let me clear the network tab first update user and we will have payload of 46 as age name is uday and it is here as well changed here as well uday is 46 years old 
let me call it nishant again and change it to kumar at the place of the name click update user and now it says nishant kumar is 27 years old so that is how update function or update method works in next.js and how we write it in the front end and the back end.